Hey everyone, welcome to Dit Dot. My name is Amanda and I am so excited about tonight's dinner. It's one of my favorite, ooh, fancy dinners, but it's actually like so incredibly easy and it's fast and it's healthy. So let's get cooking. So today we are making fish in parchment paper or the French call it, <laughs> and please excuse me to my French teacher in high school, French en papillot. And that basically means that we're going to take this fish and we're going to steam it all wrapped up in parchment paper. All right, so I've got carrot, zucchini, and an onion, and some thyme and garlic. First off, what we're going to do is just cut up half this red onion. And just like that, with the magic of editing, it has now been peeled. <laughs> I'm just going to slice it across one way and then turn it and dice it up so that we have very, very thin dice, not like squares. I'm gonna do this like paper thin. So as you see, I keep my knife tip down on my cutting board and I'm sliding my knife just back and forth. So that way we have very finely diced onion. And I like to use the blade of my knife to help me scoop and transfer, just being very careful, obviously, not to touch the blade. Okay, the way that I'm gonna do the zucchini is I've got a vegetable peeler and I'm actually just doing strips of zucchini. Super fast, right? All right, so you get the idea here. That looks like a good pile of zucchini. So I'm gonna add it to the onions and we're gonna do the same thing with the carrot. So the fish that we're gonna use, today I have rockfish basically because that was on sale. It was called red rockfish. I am not a fish expert. I am trying to learn a little bit more about fish. I, seafood's one of my favorite foods. I absolutely love seafood. My husband and I went to this Mexican restaurant yesterday and I got this seafood Mexican soup. Oh my God, it was the best thing ever. I'm gonna put a picture of it here. It's not the best photo, but oh my gosh. Casa Kalima, it's a little Mexican restaurant in my town and oh my gosh, so good. Anyway, that's just to say, like whenever I go out to eat, I always order seafood. So I'm trying to cook with it more at home because it's cheaper to cook at home. And you know, sometimes fish can be kind of expensive. So that can be nerve wracking. You don't wanna mess up. This is a really, really easy recipe because it's not going to fall apart on you. You don't have to like worry about fussing with it and flipping it over in a skillet, but you want just a mild white fish. So a cod, a soil, a sole, not soil, a sole, a halibut. So I've got a rock fish and again, picked it purely because it was the one that was the cheapest today. My carrot has now been shaved thin. With vegetable ends and scraps like this, it is really good to keep a Ziploc bag in your freezer. And then if you ever make chicken stock or vegetable stock, then you add all these ends to your your stock and it helps. You might hear my Instapot going. I'm making some rice because I'm gonna serve this fish over some rice. We're gonna add some salt and pepper. It'd also be good over couscous or quinoa, whatever kind of grain you want to do. And then I've got some olive oil that I'm gonna drizzle over here. Oh, this is almost empty, but I think I got enough in here. Okay, so I got this peach vinegar at the farmer's market a couple weeks ago, and I've been wanting to try it in a dish. And this seems like a good, I'm shaking it up because it was sediment at the bottom. This seems like a good dish to experiment. Don't go out and buy peach vinegar, please. <laughs> I don't even know, it's not even in stores very often. Just a splash of apple cider vinegar, splash of lemon juice, splash of red wine vinegar. Just a little bit of a vinegar here would be good. So I'm curious how this is gonna be. I wanna make a salad dressing with this. Kinda hard to taste vinegar straight up. Tastes just like, it tastes vinegary. It doesn't, I don't really taste a peach, but we'll see. I mean, I just used like a tablespoon. Okay, oh, and then I'm gonna grab some thyme. I changed my mind. We're gonna go tarragon today. So thyme is fine. When you're cooking with me, you will see that a lot of times it's about methods. It's not about a recipe or specific ingredients. So because this is a French-based dish, I figured tarragon might be a fun spice to add. Plus I've got fresh thyme. So we'll add that to the top of the fish. Tarragon is not a spice or seasoning that I use very often. It smells so good. And if you've not used it before, I invite you to buy a small bottle of it and try it out in some things. As you can see, I'm just kind of mixing these together, trying to get them evenly distributed. Again, I probably should have used a bigger bowl so I could spread it around. And then I forgot to add the garlic. Let's chop up some garlic and add it in. It was sitting right there in front of me. 
Okay, this is a dish I would encourage you to use fresh garlic, but if you've got pre-chopped garlic in like a little jar, that would be fine. I wouldn't use garlic powder though. Always while cooking with me, there's no rules. I want you to do your thing. What feels right in your kitchen is the right way. Ugh, I've been having such bad luck with my garlic lately. Either rotten pieces or... Okay, so I'm just going to mince this up very fast and get it mixed in with these veggies. And then we'll get to the fun part of assembling our packets. Oh, by the way, I have my oven on behind me. It's preheating to 375. And then again, I've got my rice going in the Instapot. I was going to buy in my kale salad video a couple weeks ago, I bought this frozen quinoa for the first time and it was so easy and good. I'm gonna buy more of that today, but I forgot. So white rice it is. Garlic in, toss it around and let's make some packets. So you want really big squares. Oh gosh, I hope I have enough. You can do this in foil. I wouldn't recommend it just because the aluminum. Well, it's probably really loud with my microphone. Oh good, I do have enough. I think the aluminum will kind of depart a flavor and the delicate fish. But I say that, and I do aluminum foil camp dinners all the time. So if you don't have parchment paper, you know, don't worry about using your aluminum. Okay. Oh, don't wanna give myself another paper cut. So here is my fish. I asked the butcher, the fishmonger, whatever it's called, for four fillets that were the right portion. So hopefully that's what he got me. Yep, that looks like a decent portion of fish. Okay, I'm just trying to think how I wanna do this. It's been a while. <laughs> a lot of these dishes that I cook for y'all, it's like, oh yeah, it's been a while since I cooked that. I cook so many different meals it's, I don't rotate through my meals very often. Okay, I forgot to grab my salt and pepper, so. Okay, I think I have everything. So I'm gonna add a little bit of salt and pepper to the fish. And then I'm gonna cut up. So normally you would use a lemon. I didn't buy a lemon, but I do have orange. And so we're just gonna use oranges today. Nice, bright, fresh citrus is kind of the important thing. Oh gosh, <laughs> this orange smells good. So that has salt and pepper on it. And then I'm gonna take a portion of the veggies, try to get just one fourth of them, a little bit of mix of carrots and all of that. If you don't cook with wine, then either just put a little bit of chicken stock, vegetable stock, or even just um, water. Basically, you're gonna put just a tablespoon. It'd almost probably been better just to add it to the vegetable so it'd soak in. There you go. That's gonna help add steam to this packet. So the moisture of the vegetables, plus whatever liquid you add, plus the liquid from these oranges, is going to create some steam in these packets. So I'm just using peel and all, and I'm gonna layer them on top. Oh, this is gonna be so beautiful. Okay, now here's the part where you're gonna learn how to fold it. So I tried to portion the fish over to one side of this packet, and then you're gonna fold it over in half and there's like again there's more than one way to do this but this is an effective method let's put it that way oh my arm just slid off okay now i'm going to start at this corner and i'm going to fold up over the fish and then i'm just bringing it and folding the paper over and over and over all the way around i don't think i tucked this one in very good hold on there you go. You want it to kind of tuck in on itself. And then when you get to this last little corner piece, you tuck it back in and fold it under and just squeeze. So now it's completely sealed up in this little packet. And what I'm gonna do is put this on a cookie sheet and I'll show you that in a minute. Okay, I'm gonna assemble the other three and then we'll reconvene. Okay, so I just put them on, I have two cookie sheets, but one big one would be fine. And they're all assembled and we're gonna pop them in the oven for 12 minutes. If your fish is thicker, you might need to go 15. What we're gonna do in 12, we will peek on one and see how it looks. Let's go ahead and pull these out of the oven and we'll check on them. Oh, hi Watson. Hi Watson, are you helping? <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna turn off the oven yet just in case we need to put these back in, but I think they should be finished. 
So one way to serve them is to get a pair of scissors and to just be careful because they will steam up on you, okay? And just cut down the length of it. Now, of course, if it has to go back in. We've now opened up the steam on this wipe. I, I think they're gonna be fine. Oh, it smells so good. And then I just wanna see if it flakes apart. Yep, if it flakes apart, y'all gotta see this up close and personal. Look at this, isn't this gorgeous? And then all those juices, I'm gonna be careful because I wanna pour those juices onto my rice. That becomes like your sauce for your rice. But see, it just flakes apart. I'm gonna go ahead and taste it. Give it a taste before the family comes down. Mmm, mmm, that's so good. The citrus and the light, fresh. I didn't really get any tarragon in that bite, but the garlic comes through. Mm. Okay, this is gonna be good. As you can see, this is just really assembles very quickly, minimum effort, doesn't take much mess. I mean, even if you're careful, the cookie sheets stay clean, but it looks fancy. It's a good company dinner. Cause you can make like two trays of these and put them in the oven and everything's cooked up at the same time. And definitely keep that in mind. I just actually plated one up and then I thought, you know what? I'm gonna show you how I actually transfer it over. So I've got, I like these kind of rounded edge bowls because it helps hold in those juices. And so I just put some rice down. So if you cut down the side like that, which is what I did on that last one, then you can kind of pick it up carefully and then just kind of slide. Come on, the other one did it so perfectly when I wasn't filming, right? Ah, that one topped over. <laughs> slide it all off. There we go. That actually looks prettier. <laughs> So I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure that you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. That way, when I upload my next video, you will know and you won't miss out on any of my fun and healthy fast dinners. And until the next time, goodbye.